Welcome back. In the hockey world, the preseason, with the preseason about to start, the Anaheim Ducks got their man. Forward Bobby Ryan, a restricted free agent in the offseason, got the contract extension he was hoping for. The Ducks and Ryan agreed to a new five-year deal worth a reported $25.5 million. The new contract will keep Ryan with the Ducks through the 2014-2015 season when he will be 28. Also in the NHL, the league has decided its punishment of the New Jersey Devils after the Ilya Kovalchuk situation from this summer. In August, the league vetoed a proposed contract between the Devils and Kovalchuk, saying it circumvented the salary cap too much. The punishment was a $3 million fine and the loss of two draft picks. The picks are a third rounder in 2011, and the Devils have the right to choose which first rounder they forfeit in the coming years. On to college football now. The new top 25 poll is out, and after its route of Penn State, Alabama keeps its place as the number one ranked team in the country. Ohio State remained at number two after beating Miami over the weekend. Boise State continues to be number three in the country, but there are differing opinions on four and five. The Associated Press has TCU and Oregon rounding out the five, whereas USA Today's rankings have Texas and TCU. And what a weekend it was for Michigan quarterback Denard Robinson playing against rival Notre Dame. Robinson followed up his opening weekend performance of 383 yards of total offense with two touchdowns. He torched the Irish defense for an amazing 502 yards of offense himself and accounted for three touchdowns as the Wolverines knocked off Notre Dame 28-24 on a last minute touchdown by Denard Robinson. And in baseball news now, New York closer Francisco Rodriguez is facing new charges stemming from his assault charges from earlier in the summer at City Field. Rodriguez is being charged with criminal attempt, contempt excuse me, for violating a restraining order, which is put, was what was put against him after assaulting his fiancé's father after a game at City Field by, se by sending dozens of text messages to his fiancé in the weeks after the incident. And also in baseball, after manager Lou Piniella retired in August, it left a vacancy to be filled as manager of the Chicago Cubs. According to sources, the Cubbies are going to talk to former Diamondbacks and Mariners manager Bob Melvin. Melvin, who is currently a scout for the New York Mets, was a candidate for the Cubs managerial position in 2003 before Chicago hired Dusty Baker after Baker led the San Francisco Giants to the World Series in 2002. All right, James, well, it's looking like the playoff races are the thing to watch right now. We have such teams competing right now, like the Rays and the Yankees, the Braves and the Phillies, to name a few. How do you see these teams ending up? Well, September baseball, is, it's crunch time in Major League Baseball right now. And, and you, you really have to look at it. Uh, there are a little under 50 games left in, in the season. The Yankees and the Rays, we'll talk about the AL East first. The Yankees right now hold a half-game lead over Tampa Bay. Uh, the Yankees have the best record in the league by one win over, over the, the Rays. This is a close race. You know, they're, they're far and away the two best teams in the American League and probably the two best teams in all of baseball. And if you look at it, whoever doesn't win the American League East title right now is going to get the wild card. Right, because the Red Sox are pretty far back at this point. They're uh, seven games back as of right now. So it looks like they're pretty much out of it right now. Absolutely. The Red Sox, seven games back. Not, not just, you know, they're seven games back in the division. Yeah, but they're, they're seven games back in the wild card as well. And they're the third place team in the wild card. So if you look at it right now, the wild card is stacked up in the American League with three American League East teams at the top followed then by the Chicago White Sox and surprisingly, surprising a lot of people, the Oakland Athletics, who many people picked to finish in the cellar uh, of the AL West right now, they're in second place out there behind Texas, who's running away with that division. Yes, in Texas, they're uh, on a hot streak right now. They have won six games and they're just, I mean, they have Cliff, you know, obviously with the acquisition of Cliff Lee that has helped them, he has struggled a bit, but 
like the pitcher he is, he will bounce back and, I mean, he is key in the playoffs. Like you saw, saw what he did in the playoffs for the Philadelphia Phillies against the Yankees. If you shut down the Yankees and that prolific offense, that's saying a lot. And that, that, that's a very difficult thing to do. The Yankees right now, the leading scoring team in Major League Baseball, they've scored 771 runs this season. That, that is an astronomical number, but when you pump so much money that the Yankees are able to put into that, right. that lineup and you stack it, I mean, you, you look at the, the Yankees lineup and they have Derek Jeter, Nick Swisher having an all-star season, uh, Alex Rodriguez, uh, who, who just came back from injury, Mark Teixeira, who's been playing the last two weeks with a broken toe and you never would have guessed it, mm -hmm. Robinson Cano, who a lot of people are saying could be an MVP candidate this year. Very underrated until this year, until he kind of popped out onto the scene. Now everybody knows his name. Exactly, but then you look at the Tampa Bay Rays, and the Tampa Bay Rays have a solid offense. They have one of the, the best offenses in, in Major League Baseball, led by Evan Longoria and, and B.J. Upton and Carl Crawford, Ben Zobris. They have a, some great players there, but they're anchored by their pitching staff. The, the, the young pitching staff, the arms like Matt Garza and James Shields, Jeff Neiman, Wade Davis, phenomenal players. But right now, we're going to switch over to the National League. And the race that's tightest in the National League is the East. Yes, the Phillies course. right now hold a two and a half game lead over Atlanta, mm -hmm. who was in first place for a majority of the summer. The Phillies always get hot in September, though. Oh, yeah. And the key, the key for the Philadelphia Phillies, Ryan Howard. This guy comes through in September every single year. Ever since he came onto the scene as a rookie, he's been amazing in September. And you know what? It's just going to pick up in the playoff races because he does not stop in, in the playoffs. And, of course, when you have Chase Sutley and, you know, and, and Brad Lidge even. Brad Lidge has made a comeback this year. Um, you know, he's spectacular in 2008, horrible 2009, but now he's going to pick it up. And that's, that's key right there for them to have a great closer. And the two biggest shocks of, I think, the season, Cincinnati leading the Central and San Diego coming out of nowhere to, to be leading the, the West by a game and a half right now. So it's going to be an interesting and certainly exciting final month of the baseball season. Yes, it is. It's, it's going to be exciting, so stay tuned to them. All right, well, up next we go over this weekend that was in the NFL. Stay tuned. <laughs> 